Thread, yarn, twine, string are flexible and versatile materials that can perform different actions. But when alone, they are fragile. When several strings are twisted together, sharing the same goal and the same direction, they can make a rope. A rope is tough. A rope can create links, knots, bear a heavy weight, although it can also be cut. When threads and yarns cross into one another, fabric is created. Once intertwined, the individual strands become more resistant to tension. Fabric covers and protects. Fabric is strong and has many different uses. Fabric is the material that millions of female workers use to make clothes for global brands at outsource factories. Many of those factories belong to multinational manufacturers that sometimes are even more powerful than the brands themselves. Unfortunately, at these companies, workers too often get precarious employment, low wages, long, exhausting working hours, and their freedom to join unions is not respected. As usual, the thinner the thread, the easier it is to cut it. That's why workers have managed to organise in their workplaces to create trade unions and defend their rights. But union strength varies from country to country and multinational manufacturers move their production chain to some other places where they can find weaker labour laws and unions. To empower trade unions who organise textile and garment workers within a multinational supply chain, Industrial Global Union has developed different strategies such as signing global framework agreements with global brands that set working conditions, union rights and health and safety basic standards. Another strategy is the creation of trade union networks, whether there is a global framework agreement or not. Facing these multinational companies, trade union networks are the fabric made by the workers to stand up for their rights, locally, regionally and globally. Networks intertwine workers from a same company in different countries, allowing them to share essential information and practices. A network covers all of a company's facilities, gathering all unionised and non-unionised factories to build cross-border solidarity. Networks protect workers' rights to organise and bargain collectively and to engage with the company in global dialogue. Within a network, Unions develop an action plan and strategic campaigns, becoming more resistant to face multinational manufacturers. Networks are strong tools to carry on joint actions to eradicate unfair working practices and improve the lives of workers throughout a company's supply chain. Industrial will continue establishing trade union networks in the garment supply chain to strengthen the development of direct industrial relations between workers and employers and ensure that companies respect the same standards in all the countries where they operate. The thread ends up in a simple and urgent idea. Textile workers' rights have to be protected all over the world.